All right, don't see Adam Bullock season two. Let's do it. Okay, you guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art, and all things creative. My name is Laszlo, you are watching DMB's channel, and in this first video of the year, I thought I would show you my little graphic design setup. So you can see how you can build up a well-functioning home office desk setup on a budget. There are great videos about this topic out there here on YouTube, and I don't know about you, but I love binge watching this sort of content, which is like, you know, behind the scenes. It's really fun to see all these amazing creators and all their gear, what they're using for, you know, the amazing graphics and illustrations and all that cool stuff that they are doing. Obviously, everyone's setup is somewhat different, but there is one common point that I have found in these videos that they don't seem to address that much, so I thought I could make a video about it. No disrespect to any of these big name players of the design field, but when they say you don't need expensive equipment to create, and then they walk you through their excruciatingly expensive gear, what they use to create, I feel like oftentimes it can come out, even if just on a subconscious level, you know, somewhat contradictory and it may be discouraging for the future generations of creators who are just starting out. The thing is, my setup is, let's just say, it's much more modest than most of these videos, and what I hope is that it can serve you as proof that you really don't need much to start out making digital content, illustrations, graphic design, maybe even videos, whatever your niche is. So without further ado, let me show you what I got going on here. Now, the heart of my whole ecosystem is my MSI PS63 modern laptop. This is the 8RC version. I know that there are a couple different editions of this computer available depending on wherever you are in the world. But as far as I'm concerned, the differences are nothing major. There are some slightly different processors as well as graphics cards are installed in these different models. If you ask me, this is a near perfect laptop for content creation. The computer savvy viewers will know what to look for in a laptop anyway, but if you are not one of those people, let me just say, make sure you spend your money on a high performing processor and depending on your needs, on the graphics card as well. I got this laptop in the second half of 2019, so in tech terms it is no longer the latest and greatest of course, because as we all know in the world of IT, devices age like milk, and your 2019 gear can feel like a veteran compared to today's models. Now thinking about it, 2019 does feel like it was about 10 years ago, doesn't it? Anyway, moving on. The spine in which my computer leans on is this tech box laptop stand. This is obviously something that the talented interior designer, that is Jacqueline Dantier, has got me. I would have never thought of this myself, but it is an ingenious way to get a bit more space out of your desk. Now, if I want to quickly get rid of something like these little wireless bits and bobs, I can just put them under the stand. And boom, now I have a full-on table for sketching. Speaking of wireless devices, I got this TechNet wireless keyboard here and my trustworthy Microsoft Surface mouse as the main peripherals, as well as my graphics tablets. I would say maybe not the keyboard, but a good quality mouse is essential when it comes to creative work. For the digital illustrator lot, I don't need to introduce the Wacom brand, which are simply the best digital drawing tablets that money can buy. I got this little one called the Wacom 1 and my big guns is the Wacom Intuos Pro Medium. Now this is just my opinion, but I think unless your focus is pixel based digital painting in something like Photoshop, you don't really need the Intuos Pro. I've been using both of these for years now and I gotta tell you, I think the only noticeable difference between the two is the pressure sensitivity. Obviously the more expensive Intuos one has about twice as many levels of pen pressure to sense your brush strokes, but the thing is, not many of us needs that level of precision. If you are a designer, building websites, or if you do vector graphics, you'll get by the smaller one. So save your money and buy the one by Wacom. Okay, the brains as I like to call them, besides my laptop's SSD, I have this WD external hard drive, as well as this brand new Samsung T7 solid state drive. I am quite serious about backups, and I think you should be too. There is this saying in IT circles that unless a file is backed up in at least three different ways, it might as well doesn't exist. So yeah, the big HDD has all my work backed up on it, going back to like six, seven years. It has all my uni work and all that. And this new SSD I'm planning to use on solely on video stuff. These boys can be a little pricey depending on their storage capacity, but honestly, this is not something you wanna save money on. As I always say, more is more when it comes to digital storage. Now it's time to steer this button to, let's just say, 
hypocritical waters to some extent, because I want to talk about my Bluetooth headphones. What? Do you need them? No, no one does. But the convenience, I mean, once you get used to the idea of cordless headphones, it's actually really hard to go back to these, you know, old school ones. I still keep a pair of these at hand at all times anyway, just because it's actually quite nice, the one I have. It's an AKG pair of headphones that came with my phone actually, so good job Samsung. Now the legs on which this whole system rests is the Linnan desk that we got last year from IKEA. In one of our earliest videos you can see us assembling this thing. Again, it was one of our first videos, so please excuse the little mistakes and the lack of editing skills if you watch that one. We barely knew how to edit videos back in those days. One modification we have done since last year is installing these baskets onto the bottom of the desk in an attempt to tame the beast of a burden that is cable management. Again, nothing fancy here. Four clamps holding these metal baskets in which we keep a pair of extension leads to power up the whole workstation. Okay, just to wrap this up, I have a few additional random bits and bobs. I keep two tripods at hand, this little desk one which I use when I'm filming myself sitting down, and this flexible arm one which turned out to be pretty useful when I want to record my drawing and doing what it does best in a sketchbook. Naturally I have some stationary bits hanging around, pens, pencils, post-it notes on one side, and a bunch of sketchbook on the other. And this little desk pad because it's just all so designy, I love it. And that's pretty much it. Is this the ideal setup? For me, at the moment, yeah, kinda. It fulfills all my needs for now. Obviously, your desk setup is something that you will never be 100% happy with because, you know, as time goes on, new things will catch your eye and your needs will change as well. Like, if I knew back in 2019 what working is going to be like for the next coming years, I probably would have bought an expensive desktop PC instead of an expensive laptop. Also, like most of these other videos on YouTube state, an external monitor is, you know, a nice thing to have. More screen estate is always better than less. But apart from that, I think this is genuinely all you need to get to work. So yeah, go ahead, do it. No excuses. Again, I want to state that this was a desk setup on a budget video. So I didn't mean to these people who have, you know, a wireless charger for their phones on their desk or one of those RGB strips installed that makes the room go like wow and wow and wow. All of that is super cool stuff, obviously. But just to start out in the world of design and make what I'm making, illustration, graphic design, light video editing, I truly believe that you don't need more than what we just went through. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because that really does help out our channel. And join our little design tribe if you're interested in this sort of content. We recently just hit a thousand subscribers, which is just mind-bogging to us, really. So now, more than ever, we feel like we need to up our game and deliver. Because, well, it looks like more and more of you are watching and, you know, you deserve great content, so we are on it. We make videos about art, graphics, interiors, architecture, illustration and everything in between. Take care guys and I'll see you this time next week. Bye.